Welcome back everybody. This is the 19th video in our series on building a chess engine from scratch in the Java programming language. Right now we're focused on uh, fleshing out the player class um, and the two concrete subclasses white player and black player. Um, in the last video I set up sort of the backbone of the player class. Uh, it's an abstract class. It's got several methods to find on it. Get opponent, get alliance, get active pieces. Um, and we fleshed out how to establish the king on the player, uh, for the player. And we introduced these methods, um, is in check, is in checkmate, is in stalemate, and is castled. But we didn't, um, we didn't implement them. We just sort of introduced them. Okay, so let's start with is in check, okay? There isn't, so here's what I want to say before I jump into this, is that there's a slight asymmetry here. We can calculate is in check in the constructor and have it be part of the construction of a player and, um, you know, just sort of a Boolean value you can look up, but that's not going to be true for the is in checkmate, is in stalemate methods, and we'll uh, see why that is. Um, but let's start with just uh, the is in check method. So I'm going to introduce a private final boolean is in check, and we're going to say this dot is in check is equal to, and let me get rid of this space here, is equal to, and we're going to introduce a method. So I'm going to say not player dot calculate, this method doesn't exist yet, calculate attacks on tile and we're going to get this dot get player king get piece position so we're going to get the player king okay so the board's going to have the, uh, the well the board has a player king on it uh, so we can actually Let's just say this dot player king dot get piece position and we're going to give it the opponent's legal moves. We're going to say this has to be is empty if it's not empty. So what we're really saying here is this. We're saying that does the opponent's moves um, attack the the current player's king position and get all of those different attacks and if that is not empty then that means that the current player is in check okay and the is in check method now actually just returns this dot is in check uh, so what's left to do is to implement this method okay uh, I don't know why it says it wants to return an area we're actually going to, um, let me see, how do I want to implement this? Okay, here we go. Uh, we're actually just going to say that it's a collection of moves. Okay. So let me see if I can explain this a little bit. I'm going to say final list of move attack moves is equal to new array list. Okay. And for final move and move in the um, let's just call this moves. For final move and moves, if the tile that you're passing in, if the piece position, the king's piece position, is equal to move.get destination coordinate. And we haven't fleshed this out yet. Remember, our move class is fairly bare, but we will introduce this. Then attack moves dot add move. 
and we're going to simply return immutable list dot copy of attack moves. Okay, so let's look at this real quick. Uh, let's first let's first resolve this compiler error. We're going to introduce on the move class. This is an abstract class, and we're just going to um, introduce a method called public int get destination coordinate return this dot destination coordinate remember a move has a um, you know a piece that is uh, being moved um, and, a, and a destination coordinate which it's being moved to and the coordinates you know they, they correspond to the um, tile numbers if you will which are numbered from 0 to 63 okay so what we're saying here is that we're gonna pass in the Kings current tile location right and we're also gonna pass in the enemy's moves and we're gonna go through each one of the enemy's moves and we're gonna see if the destination coordinate of that enemy move overlaps with the Kings position if it does then it's attacking the King right so we're going to get back a list of moves, excuse me, a collection of moves that attacks that king position. And here, to calculate the current player's check, we're going to say that, that if that list is not empty, then the current player is in check. That's what we've done here. Okay? So um, we can do that here. Now, and that's, that's, that's great. So we've implemented that. Now we want to implement, so let's move this comment to do down here hopefully by the end of this movie uh, is the end of this video um, we can remove this comment altogether but we'll see if time permits um, so to calculate is in checkmate um, calculating is in checkmate is really in chess what it means is that the king is currently in check and it the king has no way to escape check that's the definition of checkmate in the game of chess. So what we're going to say is return this dot is in check and doesn't have a has escape moves. And now we have to implement this method has escape moves. Okay. So how are we going to implement this? So this method, we're going to make this protected. Um, and we're going to say for final move, move in, get my legal moves, um, right? We're going to move uh, final move transition transition is equal to make move we have to introduce this oh I, I've already introduced it we're gonna make that move and if transition dot get move status is done okay I'll explain this in a minute then return true otherwise return false okay so first let's go to move transition we said that the move transition is has a move status now we just need to return it public move status get move status return this dot move status okay and um, we need to go to move status and we're gonna have different states here but one of them is going to be done and the way that we will want to do this is hmm. so so let's introduce an abstract method here abstract boolean is done and let's implement the method there will be other states besides done but this is just going to return true. Okay, um, so let's let's talk about this. What we're saying here is this: in order to calculate whether the king can escape, 
what we're going to do is we're going to go through each of the player's legal moves and we're going to make those moves okay we're going to make those moves on um, on a new board on an imaginary board okay we haven't fleshed out make move yet but I will do that in a subsequent video but imagine that we um, make those moves on a theoretical abstract board not the current the board that we're currently playing on but we make those moves and then after we make that move we look at the board and um, and we go yes we were able to successfully make that move now it's done um, if that's the case then we return true if you can't do the move because it leaves you in check or because you you know um, it's illegal or whatever then you're not going to return true right so we're sort of we're doing this top down we haven't really we don't really know deeply what it means to have an escape move or not but you can think about it abstractly when I'm playing a game of chess with another person and I'm in uh, the person declares checkmate on me what I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna study the board and I'm gonna look to see if I can make any moves that one when I make that move after I make that move my king is no longer um, under attack okay so that's really what we're doing here um, and we're going to um, so what we're saying here is that the king is currently in check and it doesn't have any escape moves that's how we calculate is in checkmate um, and the reason why this asymmetry exists, the reason why you can't have a boolean here called this dot is in checkmate here when you're constructing a player is you kind of have a chicken and egg problem. When you remember, we're calling the constructor for a player when we're constructing a board. We're constructing a board, and in the midst of constructing a board, we construct a player, right? The white player and the black player. Well, when we construct the player, right so let's go into white player white player calls super when we construct the player and if we were to try to calculate is in checkmate we know we have to call has escape moves and has escape moves is going to be making a move which is going to be constructing a board right and then when we come to construct that board we're gonna again calculate um, you know the player so we don't wanna do that we don't want we wanna break out of that loop that's why we are not having the is in checkmate boolean defined in the constructor okay the same is true for is in stalemate and oops I moved this I'm gonna move it back up and couple it nicely here so if we were to look at um, if we were to look at calculating is in being in stalemate right what it means is it's very closely uh, related to uh, the is in checkmate calculation uh, really all it is is that you are currently the, the current player is um, not in check and doesn't have any escape moves so this dot and I'll explain this you're not in check but you also um, you don't have any escape moves so that means that you can't make a move that will not leave your player in, uh, your king in check okay so it's actually really simple to calculate stalemate having introduced this has escape move method and we'll see this when we when we develop test cases this will become more clear if it's not already clear to you but really you can you can uh, come up with some imat you know you can almost pull out a, a real physical chessboard and walk through these definitions and you'll see why they're true right when you're in checkmate it means that your king is currently in check and it cannot escape and 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 transition into a board not just the king but any piece um, put you into a board where um, you're not no longer in check and stalemate means that you're not in check currently um, but all of the moves that you would make would lead into a checking position and that's what stale that's the definition of stalemate okay so we have now defined is in check is in checkmate and is in stalemate um, I think I'm gonna stop here in this video uh, and we will come back we'll continue uh, fleshing out the critical pieces of player uh, and we're almost done I would say with the critical pieces uh, and then we will go into the most, I would say, the, the most interesting class, uh, the one that really has all of the, the definitional stuff on it, the move class, which is going to define how we execute a move, how we actually make a move uh, on a board. 
um, and then we can start seeing some GUIs, uh, some, um, you know, de defining out a basic GUI. So appreciate you guys' patience. I hope this is useful to you guys still. Uh, please continue to rate, uh, comment, subscribe, and like, and uh, we'll see you guys soon.